Hello everyone, this is the second video showing you the more nitty gritty side of my project the actual insides of my radio as you can see at the top here is two uh, Pioneer speakers um, it was tricky finding good quality speakers that I could uh, rip apart on a budget I didn't want to spend a uh, fortune on getting uh, for example studio speakers and then having to break them apart just for this project so uh, my boss actually suggested that I should look at car radio speakers and I'm actually glad I went with that. These Pioneer little speakers, they are 4 ohm, 180 watt uh, max each speaker. And the quality and, and um, volume produced by them are, are pretty impressive. Um, I'm very happy with the quality of output. At the bottom over here is my two Meanwell uh, power supplies, the 35 watt dual output and the 25 watt single output. The dual output produces um, power for the Raspberry Pi 5 volt at 3 amps and it has a 12 volt at 1 amp that controls the screen controller card for the uh, LCD screen. Uh, the 12, uh, sorry this one is a 12 volt uh, at, now I must remember correctly, I think it was 3 amps, no yeah I think it was 3 amps, it controls the LePi uh, amplifier. The reason I went with splits, as I said in the first video, I was having terrible static noise between um, boot up and shutdown on the Raspberry Pi. Um, I was testing on the Model B, not the B+, and uh, it was supposed to be much better on the B+, uh, after they've changed the circuitry on the actual Raspberry Pi. But I was still having issues, and after doing quite a bit of research, uh, a lot of the audio experts actually say that uh, a common... I hope I get this right. A common ground shed on a multiple output uh, power supply can cause interference if you don't um, isolate it properly. And um, I was having those issues. And I found when I was on testing, if I were to split the power supplies, uh, I wasn't having issues. So I opted rather than having one 60 watt dual output that would have given me enough power for everything, I actually opted, opted up for a 25 and a 35. Uh, which kind of which gives me the exact same uh, wattage, um, so I went with that, and that solved my problem. It was a little bit extra wiring and extra junk to put inside, but uh, I think it's worked out well. Over here is the uh, controller card for the screen. Uh, it actually is a, quite a nice little controller because it can handle multiple inputs. You've got your um, normal VGA input, you've got RCA input, HDMI. And it's also got some inputs on the side here that you can hook up directly to a screen. Um, obviously I'm using HDMI because the, the Raspberry Pi takes HDMI. The little LePi amplifier, um, I think it's a $35 amplifier. And for its price it's just ridiculously great. I mean obviously audio experts will say, you know, not the greatest. But if you want something simple, I can highly, highly recommend this. And I've actually just come out with one that's a Bluetooth one, um, Bluetooth input. So you can hook it up to any speaker and uh, use Bluetooth. So that might actually be a nice project for someone that doesn't want to hook up a Raspberry Pi for um, just creating some Bluetooth speakers. The screen actually sits behind this panel. You can just see it sticking out there because it's got to have the cables coming from the interface board onto the actual screen going into there. Um, I did find by putting a proper backing board, I do get a bit of uh, better color and better um, brightness on the screen having a bit of a reflection behind because as you can see at the back here it's, it's actually just got a solid white background and a lot of the lights actually get lost there. On the sides here are the two micrometers sitting and the uh, switch and rotary encoders are on either side with the LEDs at the top here. Here's our little brain of the organization, the Raspberry Pi Model B Plus with a wireless uh, adapter and the um, it's got a USB audio as well, just for better quality sound um, and the power and the HDMI input. At the bottom here is my big mess. <laughs> this is uh, my breakout board for the um, various input and outputs for the Raspberry Pi. I decided to do it this way so that if I want to maybe later switch to a model uh, Raspberry Pi Model 2, um, I can do that easily without having to resolder or do anything fancy on the GPI opens. So this ribbon cable will just pop out, put a new Pi and pop the ribbon cable in and we're done. Vice versa for adding anything extra to the breakout cardboard, I can just unscrew this. Ribbon cable comes off, I can solder nicely and put it back in again. 
So in a nutshell, that's my little project on the inside. Um, it was quite fun sourcing all the parts from various worlds. I think the, the amp came from Japan, the screen came from China, and the speakers I found at a local shop. Uh, the uh, power supplies I got from a local electronic shop. Um, my friend Keith actually sold me the analog meters that he bought from Adafruit. And the uh, breakout boards I got from a robotics shop in Johannesburg that sold me that. And the rest of the bits and bobs also got from electronic stores uh, in Durban. So that's the inside of my radio. Uh, I hope you guys liked. Uh, feel free to ask questions or post comments and uh, let me know what you think.